What if I told you the beauty industry's most hyped anti-aging ingredient is physically impossible to absorb through your skin barrier? It's 600 times too large to penetrate, yet they've convinced millions of women it's the miracle cure for wrinkles. And it's probably sitting on your bathroom counter right now. You've been applying it religiously, believing it would firm your skin and erase fine lines. But while you've been spending hundreds of dollars massaging these molecules onto your surface, real aging has been happening in the deep layers underneath. Layers this ingredient will never, ever reach. In the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you the exact science that makes this physically impossible, expose the legal loopholes beauty brands exploit to sell it anyway, and reveal the three dermatologist-backed ingredients that actually work. So the ingredient marketed as a miracle, but is actually completely useless, is collagen. Applying collagen to your skin, expecting it to help, is literally no different than a bodybuilder slathering their body up with protein shake and expecting to grow muscles. It does not work that way. Collagen is a protein. Your skin doesn't absorb it. Your gut does. Here's the question the beauty industry hopes you never ask. If collagen is already in your skin naturally, why can't we just put more on top? You'd think your skin would just absorb it, right? Kind of like how nicotine patches deliver medicine through your skin. But that logic is completely backwards. Your skin isn't just sitting there waiting to absorb whatever you put on it. It's actually one of the most sophisticated security systems in your body. And there's a rule in dermatology called the 500 Dalton rule. Your skin has a size limit, kind of like a molecular bouncer. Anything larger than 500 Daltons gets rejected at the door. Guess how big a single collagen molecule is? 300,000 Daltons. That's 600 times over the limit. One dermatologist put it this way, trying to push collagen through your skin is like trying to fit a basketball through a chain link fence. So when you're rubbing that $80 collagen cream on your face, every single molecule is just sitting there on the surface. Not one reaches the dermis, which is the deep layer where your actual collagen lives and where wrinkles form. You're paying luxury prices for protein scented lotion. At best, collagen creams work as moisturizers. They temporarily plump the surface and make fine lines look softer for a few hours. But that's not anti-aging, that's just regular hydration. Now, the beauty companies saw this problem coming. They knew eventually someone would call them out. So they came up with a backup plan. And chances are, you fell for it too. Okay, so you can't absorb collagen through the skin. But what if we go through the stomach instead? The logic sounds bulletproof. Drink collagen, it gets absorbed into your bloodstream and travels to your face. That's what the $4 billion supplement industry wants you to believe. But there's a biological plot twist they leave out. When you eat a chicken breast, does that protein go directly to your biceps? Of course not. Your digestive system doesn't care what the protein used to be. The moment collagen powder hits your stomach acid, your body dismantles it into individual amino acids. It enters your amino acid pool, a shared resource your body uses based on its own priorities. And here's the uncomfortable truth. Your face isn't necessarily the priority. Your body follows a hierarchy. Wound healing gets first dibs. Organs are next. Your skin, it's low on the list. So that $50 jar of marine collagen peptides, well, your body treats it exactly like salmon or Greek yogurt. You're paying a premium for amino acids you could get from literally any protein source, chicken, eggs, beans, or tofu. The collagen you swallow does not become the collagen in your face. Your body doesn't need collagen supplements to make collagen. It needs adequate protein from any source, vitamin C, and nutrients like zinc and copper, all of which you can get from food. But eat a balanced diet doesn't sell a $60 monthly subscription, does it? At this point, you're probably wondering, why isn't this a massive scandal? Why are these products everywhere? Because beauty companies have lawyers who figured out exactly how to walk the tightrope between promising results and avoiding legal consequences. If a product claims to alter your body's structure, like increases collagen in the dermis, it's legally a drug requiring FDA approval. But if it only affects appearance temporarily, it's a cosmetic. And cosmetics can be sold without proving they work at all. These vague claims aren't just legal loopholes. They're psychological weapons. There's a specific formula beauty companies use to make you believe something works without ever promising it does. Look at the wording on any collagen cream closely. You'll never see a direct promise to remove wrinkles. Instead, you'll see words like this reduces the appearance of fine lines. Any moisturizer does this, supports youthful looking skin. This technically means nothing, or collagen boosting complex, which isn't even a real scientific term. They can charge $80, hint at miracles, and let your brain fill in the blanks. When celebs like Jennifer Aniston talk about their favorite collagen drinks, that's a paid transaction designed to look like a testimonial. Here's what's gonna make you angry. The ingredients that actually work have been sitting in plain sight for decades, but the beauty industry buried them under collagen hype, and that reason is profit. The good news is, there actually are ingredients that penetrate your skin and stimulate collagen production in the dermis. Most have decades of clinical studies proving they work. 
And speaking of proven ingredients, if you suffer from painful period symptoms, check out Paramo. It's an all natural drink that soothes period symptoms and restores your natural balance. It's packed with stuff your body loses each month, like magnesium, iron, calcium, potassium, zinc, and B6, plus ginger and boswellia for natural relief. Now for the list that's proven to stimulate collagen. First up are retinoids. Unlike collagen's 300,000 Daltons, retinol molecules actually penetrate the dermis. They tell your skin cells to produce more collagen. Over 40 years of evidence, this is the stuff that really works wonders. Next are vitamin C serums, a cofactor your body needs to synthesize collagen. This protects existing collagen from free radical damage. It actually penetrates and actually works. Next. Peptides. Some, like Matrixyl, are around 500 Daltons, which is just small enough to penetrate. They signal skin cells to ramp up collagen production. And finally, is simple UV protection. Aim to minimize sun overexposure because UV radiation destroys collagen fibers and prevention beats treatment every time. Here's the truth that the beauty industry doesn't want you to hear. The real glow up formula costs less than one month of collagen supplements. You only need four things. One, minimize UV overexposure. This prevents collagen destruction. Two, use a retinoid at night. This stimulates new collagen production in the dermis. Three, apply vitamin C in the morning. This supports natural collagen synthesis. Four, eat adequate protein and nutrients. We're talking chicken, fish, beans, tofu, plus vitamin C, not from a $50 powder, from food. That's it. No proprietary blends, no celebrity endorsements, no miracle molecules. This routine saves you the $60 a month spent on useless collagen supplements, and every component has decades of research behind it. The beauty industry bet on you never asking the hard questions. They bet you'd see collagen on a label and think science instead of scam. They were wrong. You now know more about skin biology than most people spending hundreds on luxury creams. And that knowledge isn't just power, it's money back in your pocket and years added to your skin's health. The real glow up was never in a jar, it was in knowing what actually works. If this saved you from wasting money on collagen scams, share it with a friend who's still falling for the hype. Let me know in the comments what product I should expose next. I'll see you in the next one.